the last one I watched, I watched a, a new movie on Amazon Prime mm-hmm. last night, The Green Knight, starring Dev oh. Patel. Okay, cool. I really like Dev Patel, but I haven't seen this um, this movie at all. What's that about? So it's a medieval fantasy film. Uh, mm. Dev plays Gawain, who is the nephew of King Arthur, which the movie doesn't really explain at all. It just kind of assumes you know, that you know this. Go, go, go ahead with the role with it, you know? <laughs> Uh, it also stars Alicia Vikander and Joel Edgerton, and it's produced by A24. So that's sort of what got me in because I love A24 films. Okay. What what other films have A24 have done? Uh, they did mid-90s. Uh, what else is there? They're all like sort of slow burn, just character mm. pieces that don't have a lot of action, which I should have realized going into this one, but I thought, being medieval fantasy, they'd maybe go a little bit more actiony, but they don't. It's it's definitely just a character piece about someone sort of trying to earn honor and become a little bit more prestigious yeah. within the the knights of the round table, basically. Cool. <clears throat> and yeah, there's really no action sequences. And like I said, it doesn't lean into the King Arthur mythology at all. It kind of just assumes you know this and just lets it run and if like if you didn't know if you didn't know that that was in there the movie yeah. wouldn't tell you that you wouldn't know at all you just be kind of like, oh, that's just, a, so... just a fantasy <laughs> story hmm. i i really like fantasy stuff though um so i might put that on my watch list but the way you described it it's just like oh man i only know bits and pieces about you know king arthur and all that and the, the sword and merlin and all that so <laughs> yeah it's... um it's not necessary to know it, but I think they could have lent, lent, lent on it a bit more for sort of to get people in a little bit more than I think just calling it the Green Knight would. Yeah. Like <laughs> even that title, like I wasn't expecting you to say, oh yeah, King Arthur. And like, he's a nephew of King Arthur. I'm just like, how did that, where <laughs> yep. does that relate to anything? So, <laughs> um, but no, cool. Um, that kind of reminds me of like the show the show Merlin when I was um growing up as well um I think it was like a tv series but I used to be like really into that like watching that with my brother um and then there was like also like on channel 10 as well another version of Merlin so that was always there so that's as far as I know about King Arthur (laughs) and Merlin all that so I just know it's the dude with the the sword and all that so like Zelda was bringing the master sword out of the stone so (laughs) yeah so like in this one Dev Patel's character sort of the Green Knight shows up to a ceremony one day and challenges any of the Knights of the Round Table mm. to a duel and Dev Patel's character steps up because he kind of is looking for a way to earn honor and become an honorable member of the, the Knights. Yeah, cool. He strikes down the Green Knight who just pulls, gets back up, headless, holds his head up and says, in a year I'm coming back for you and just rides out like totally normal. And then we I skip I... forward, skip forward a whole year, and he just the one decides I'm going to go to the Green Knight and sort this out, and then it's all about the journey to find the Green Knight and resolve this issue twelve months later. And like visually, it's an incredible movie. Like the, some of the shots are so pretty. Uh, mm. The story is very slow. You really need to pay attention as well like there's lots of subtle hints and allusions to what's about to to come forward so uh, yeah needs a lot of concentration it's not a movie that you can throw on on a friday night and sit on your phone and scroll while watching it yeah no Uh, it definitely sounds like that (laughs) um yeah no that that sounds really cool it actually especially like cinematography wise like in that medieval aspect kind of reminds me of like the witcher as well that Mm -hmm. tv show that of the of the game i I loved it like i love the cinematography and like the medieval aspect to it um and also it's definitely not a show where you can sit on your phone and (laughs) and scroll because um um, luckily for me i I love the witcher and i love playing that game and everything and so i kind of knew what was happening but if i asked someone else who wasn't interested in the witcher they would be like 
where are we? <laughs> How old is everybody? You know, what year is this? So it just kind of like jumps everywhere. So definitely sounds very similar to The Witcher, the Netflix adaption of The Witcher. So, but yeah, cool. Yep. Yeah, it might not be for everyone, but I think if you're into medieval fantasy stuff, it would be very yeah. interesting to you. Uh